fried chicken for me, girl. What's up, y'all? We done a real mug Yeah. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Brandon. It's your girl, Bree. And welcome. Vanilla Talks. Vanilla. Oh, Lord, not the This is not a Vanilla Talks setting. <laughs> oh, my There's goodness. no such thing as a Vanilla Talks setting. I know, but. Alexa, low volume. My girl. Ready? Come on, Biddy. I can't. Get on in the chat, Biddy. Get on in the chat. No, Biddy, you gotta get in the chat. Come on. Come on. I mean, how am I get in there? Let's get Biddy in the chat. Be who? <laughs> be be. You messing up. Let's get the chicken. Let's get the chicken. I don't know. Come on. You got a knife? Man, you your hand, dog. You want a knife? <laughs> Break the leg off. No. Because that was between you and I. Mm -hmm. I can't say that. Right. But I also told you what I told you after you posted. I don't know, my mind is on blink. I was just so like, I was just so disbelieved that I couldn't believe that you wanted to post that. So I was like, I couldn't. I can't remember. I asked Brit to post. That's going to separate. They feel like it's a prank. It was a prank. I, th I think, so my, my reasoning was, I think we should work on ourselves. But 
I think that was going to be the only way to actually like live in working on ourselves. I agree. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I. And that's what I like we could say it, but like that was like a because we don't do stuff like that. So that was like a all right. If this if this is actually the case, then let's see. Right. You want to stand on business? Talking. And that's what I, I agree with that. And that's what people need to understand. Like before you came back home, I was telling people like I was I was more nervous of hoping that we like this version of each other. Because especially with us currently living in two different households. And I think that's all a part of being separated. So we're like we're not divorced until we're like we're not gonna live together or or we're not together or not happy. We just basically just embracing the position of life that we're in. To be focused on your own lane. That makes sense? Yeah. Like to be focused. Sometimes you get wrapped up in trying to be everything to everybody. Such as like a good dad and a good husband. To where we forget to pour into our own cup. And I just feel like you can't like like I always say, you can't make me the happiest version. You can't make me the happiest. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make me the happiest. You can't make yourself the happiest person of yourself. Like, so cool. you, can't, you really can't. I'll put you first. You gotta put yourself first. Damn right. <laughs> yeah, put yourself first. <laughs> I gotta put myself first, little sister. <laughs> I gotta put myself first, little sister. <laughs> I think we just hear the word separation. They think worst case scenario. Find y'all way back. Yeah. You planning on going somewhere? I'm planning on going somewhere. Yeah, like, it's not... It's not that type of separation. It's only one way she should get. But my thing is, that's the way... And I'm just as confused as Jim. But what you had to move them on? <laughs> I was just confused on that for like why they have to know that. I didn't want to move it. But I didn't also didn't want to, I also didn't want you to feel like social media means that much to me. Because I also, you know, we know we know that I work on being as transparent as possible without putting everything online, you know. And she told me that. I said we're gonna see. So yeah, like no, I didn't want to put that out there because I already knew relationship is perfect. Everything, everybody go through something, yeah. and I just didn't want to feel like we're putting social media in our business because it's not something we do. So when you said that, it, it alarmed me. Like why? Like what is the message you trying to put out? But I didn't want you to feel like being that we have not been like everything has not been everything lately. I didn't want it to be like I was hiding something. I'm like, okay, it's okay. As if like it meant that much to me to not put it out. You say you, say you want it out? I'm like, okay, he, it's not, it's a very weird. Like, you've never done that before. So, whatever he's trying to figure out, that's fine with me. But that's what I was supposed to do. I didn't expect that much bad to come from it. I ain't trying to figure it out. Especially not from like. Nah, I just didn't know in that time. It was just like, well, it's not words, but it's like, someone that everybody goes through stuff. And not, it's not all on the up and up 100% of the time. And I think it's, um, it's something that most people can relate to, but it's not talked about, especially on social media. And I understand the whole um, purpose of like people like we don't want people don't want nobody in their business and all that. But um, there's no testimony without a test, right? And you can't see. You can't see what God 
hide is doing if you're like I'm trying to hide it. You know? Yeah. Like mask it. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes you have to live in your truth. Yeah. Really and I didn't want to I didn't want to put a mask on us being in a place where we are in the world. And that's why I was trying to manage because it's like so many people look at our relationship to where you know, we're young. We should we're example that good marriages and healthy marriages does exist. But healthy ma- a healthy marriage does not mean that you will not go through stuff. In this life. That's probably a bad marriage. Yeah, because yeah, maybe something right. But it's more so of I think when people say separation, it, it's alarming because people think toxic in the worst case scenario. Baby day, baby mama, drama. Which is my baby mama. Yeah, but it's like, no. <laughs> it's the same no. I mean, it's, it, we just say it for jokes, but. Right? <laughs> yeah. But it's like, we can be, we can show them what what it looks like to be not okay in a healthy way. Yeah. So that's why I'm more so, because I wasn't, I didn't mind posting it because. Just because we're separated doesn't mean we're not gonna be. You know, good like have good cool parents and a good. It's not. I wouldn't even say separation means we're working on ourselves because at that point we bring somebody else separate. Like when you go to talk to people and stuff, you're no longer working on a relationship. No. Yeah, it's only way you can do that. Yeah. It's pretty baby. Right. <laughs> Man, go ahead. I'm not playing. Man, go ahead. I'm gonna give you my face like I'm confused. Yeah, if you find somebody else after life. <laughs> Like, where are you going with this? <laughs> that, till that, this yeah, part. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I think that's why everybody was confused. It's just the word separation. So let me ask you this. What was your favorite part about being gone? Connecting with God. Connecting with God. Yeah. And how did that, how would you, how would you able to do that? I had no other choice but to do it also because I was like worried about y'all. But it was nothing I could physically do. So I had to like pray and know that God was gonna take care of you. And I just had to. It was literally nothing I could do. So. But so much personally came out of that. So. That's, but that's a terrible feeling. That's a terrible feeling. To not be able to physically do anything. Alexa, turn volume down. So Alexa that bitch and she trying to pull. Your letters were so there was one letter that um, even when you sent something and I just didn't agree with, I would just push it off to the side and go back and read this one letter because it made me feel. It like, had one letter. It was one particular letter that it always like, left me with Yeah, it just had me comfortable. Yeah, so I'm like, oh Lord, I gotta pray Lord, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Even when like I would say like maybe I was or maybe I wasn't misinterpreting some stuff. But if I did, I would go back and read this other level. That just made me bring me back to you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cause that last one. Last letter. I'm telling you, like, 
that day, even when I immediately started writing back and I read it, I'm like, I'm not saying this. And I just read my other letter. I still have it too. I'm not gonna show you. It was a bad word. It was it was an emotional response to what I interpret you saying. And then like a couple days later, because I read this one letter like four days straight. And then afterwards I went back and read it. had a different interpretation of it than what I when I was in the ring. Right. It still has some shit in there. <laughs> but well, that was not that bad. I'ma let you I want you to read it. Okay. I want you to read okay. it. And I probably check myself for some things over here. Cause it's it was, like it was a slap in the face. I can read, I can read frustration. Read the frustration in the letter? Yeah. But again, I can't do nothing about it. What's smacking her faces? Jeez. I'm like, man, she's tripping. <laughs> that was so like crazy. That's why I ain't write your ass back. <laughs> and I'm like, she don't want me to trip out. <laughs> Then it was, you, you sent me two letters on the same day with two different emotions. You know how mentally confusing that is? You know? Like literally, okay, 10 o'clock in the morning, she feel like this. One o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock that night, this is different emotions. Oh my like, God damn. So at that point, it was on me to try choose and decide which one I'm going to run with. The last one or the first one. If I ain't wrong with either one, I just went back to my old one. And I knew, I was like, she's a little I went back to that one. And you wrote in purple. Yeah, that was in purple. Yeah, that was in purple. Black with I felt the death in that. <laughs> oh my god. And then BJ wrote me that day. And so everybody everybody was I I walk around. I was like we got different floors and different bays mm -hmm. with everybody. But I continuously to walk and check on everybody. I walk to everybody day or whatever. And they come do mail call like in our specific area where we sleep at. And I wasn't there when they came. So when I came back, everybody was like, Williams, you got like four or five letters. They looking for you. I'm like, where the hell he at? So I went running around looking for him. And I was just so happy. And then he finally came back like two hours later. He's like, Williams, where you was at? I need, you got your mail. He gave me the mail. And I went sat in my chair in the corner. And then I just started reading. And I was like, oh my God. I wish I would have stayed gone. You wish it away? I could have lived a little longer without food.
too much. <laughs> Cause I didn't know my legs made you feel that way. No, maybe you gotta read it. So like my legs is like pressure feelings. Yeah. You need to feel like I was being like right. I can't say how, how you feel. It's, I mean, it, that way, it's like if that's how you feel, then, you know. Did it come off as inconsiderate? No. I didn't, I didn't even think about nothing like that. I just... Frustration, that's what a, the frustration was transpiring from. Like, he wasn't here. I feel like he wasn't here for me. Even though you could not be here, I just was mad that she wasn't here for me because I always expect you to like, be here for me. That makes sense. Yeah, but it's not fair, though. No, it's not fair. It's not. Um, and then, like I said, I just I felt like I should have never felt your absence. That's a big part of it. Never felt your absence. You don't feel people absent when they die. For the fact of if the fact that a marriage, that's the thing. It, it that was upsetting me more. I'm like, God forbid. I, I pray that nothing happens to my husband. But if something was to happen to him, I'd be fucked. I'd be fucked. You think so? Yes, indeed. You would not. No, like financial. It's, it's just more. It's not financial. <laughs> I was about to say. Financially, no, I wouldn't be fucked. Like I'm, I'm just not a financial person. That right there doesn't bother me. You know that. You know it's deep But it should be able to hold you off for a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but sometimes it's just, especially like, we li- It's like, our areas of life are so different now. Like, as far as what we're, we're doing. Me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah our, our, our focus in life is in two different areas now. And I feel like that's even more so of why the separation thing was necessary. Because you have to, like, I want you to focus on what you're doing full, in full force and not having to, I mean, you're gonna, you're human and you genuinely love me, so of course you're gonna consider me. But see, I just don't want that to put me in effect on your decisions because, like I said, you only get one life to live. And I don't want to wait till you're like 40, 50 years old. You having that fault. But anyways, having resentment and regrets. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wish you would do this and wish you would do that in your 20s and 30s. 20s gone, big dog. Time for the next thing. Your 30s. No, we good. Nah, I, I agree with that. And I think... Um, before, like I told you, I think I, I did, like, lose myself in that, like, for a while, it wasn't, it was, it stopped being about, like, what I wanted to do, it was just, like, what would work for us, you know, I guess trying to, like, just be living in a, in a comfort that's not comfort. like doing something that I like force and train myself to do something I want to do. Yeah, because it, it's like you, you force yourself as in to thinking it's something that you want to do, but you really condition the survival of the rest of the family. Yeah. And that's why 
saying like I always try to come from an understanding standpoint and I try to take life out of it and put best friend first because I want to understand you from all perspectives and things. Because I think of my boys. I'm a boy mom. We have four boys. And one day they're going to marry off and have their own family. And of course I want them to prioritize their wife but I don't want them to lose themselves. And like I want to see my boys follow their dreams. They be everything they want to be. I don't want a family, a wife, or any kids to suffer. So I just want you to be the example for that. I know, I know. I haven't. I haven't. But now, when my time being gone, it wasn't long, but it was long enough. Trying to do like what would, what would just I'm not saying I, I don't want to not do what would make sense for us and our family, but that's not number one. Like I need it needs to align with me also. Right. You know. Right. I'm I'm only saying it because it wasn't like that for me before, mm-hmm. but now I'm like it just has to make sense. Because today, tomorrow, if God forbid, if Brent was to walk out the door, what, what do you, are you, are you happy with what you're left with? That's for us. Everything. Where you're at, financially, I mean, housing. nah, because it's always, it's always time. Like, the woman to grow. No, and I'm but, not saying that as if, like, as that I'm saying, like, don't just pour into me and your family-wise. Because I know that's why I'm like, I, mean, I ain't gonna say the word, but yeah, <laughs> it's not that no more. Like, nah, I'm gonna go get what I want. Like, right, and that's what I want. I'm not operating like that no more. I'm about, to, I'm about to be 30 in a couple months. And that's how I just feel like this is that phase of life that we see if we still align with each other. Yeah, and I'm a firm believer of if God put us together. Make sure that you can have all this time. It can work out for good and you know we good. Just lean on that. What 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 kind of I'm I guess, I guess like scare me in a way because knowing that God also puts people in in your life for a season. Mm-hmm. And is this it's a season is this the season that ends? Eight years was just a season. And we both got all we were supposed to get out of it. No, I just feel like God don't show, show give you false dreams and false visions. And He showed He showed us He showed me us when we were there, over there. And they have kids and we have grandkids. Like He showed me all that. Like He showed me all that. Like we have so much. I just feel like we have so much more in store for us. Like going through it, yeah, it be. It be hard, but I always have, not always, but I just, I just have this sense of peace. Like, I know when it's seriously on the nice, and sometimes you have a sense of peace. Like, when it's seriously on the Like, ooh, like, before we left, seriously thin nights. Why? Because I know. On, on my end or your On my end. Like, as in, I was on thin nights with you. So you felt like it was just got to read that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I know. So um I don't know, this is just this is just that season. So when we go back to remember why we started and how we got this far from the beginning. And even if I just feel like even if today or tomorrow we come and he said we would rather think we better off. We were friends. We were best friends. We literally best friends. So even if you say I just want us to remain best friends and lean on that relationship, cause like, we just we we literally going through life together. That's why you can't be in a relationship and be having. Oh, well, that's my best friend. No. No, that's different. No. That's different. No, that's different. No. Like we 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 didn't start all best friends. Mm. I, I we are all we always had. 
Like, it was clear intentions. No, we was never on the same page, but it was never on the best level. Yeah. Like, that's what, I just feel like we created... Dr. Nosh. Within that, within that time frame, we just went through so much together. So, like, we was conditioned to surviving together. So, like, sometimes... We get so caught up into the the, the bind we created, leaning on one another, because all we had was each other. So that's that's what this is. This is also is like you said, like to see if if it was just because we used to each yeah. other and comfortable with each other. Is it comfort or, or is it genuinely all? Is it we true soulmates? Yeah. Yeah. And I said, so that's the thing about me being gone that I was able to, a lot of things that I thought I couldn't do, God showed me, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Mm-hmm. And it was hard, but I, mean, I did it. It was worth it. Because it was an opportunity that you paid for. It didn't, it didn't, I don't know, but it didn't come and go as clear as you planned, but it came and went. Mm-hmm. And it was an experience, and you were living in something that you prayed for. Right. Although, yeah, the circumstances could have been ten times better outside of that one thing like that. Like going into it, you know? yeah. but it was a taste of just what's to come. Yeah, and it's not gonna always come. It's not gonna always be perfect. And, and then when it again. when it do come, just think about it. When it do come again, like when the next thing come, just imagine always when like if it if it does become like. Unbearable or hard, you just refer back to that moment. Like, mm-hmm. You did that, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, that makes sense. that's something I always hold on to. Every like, time you find yourself doubting yourself or something, like two months is a long time. It is. It's a long time to be fighting. Place. In such a short period of time. But you still here. Yeah. No. So, if you did it before, he can do it again. <laughs> yeah, but this is my best friend here. My baby's mother. <laughs> my soulmate. Also, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down. Wait, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below because we're out. Bye. On the trail ride, let's go back to the barn tonight. I ain't got no barn, but I gotta roll the door. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Damn.